So like many of you, I've been upping my live streaming and podcasting game since COVID. And one of the pieces of equipment I invested in was the Rodecaster Pro. So I know it's specifically designed to be a all-in-one podcasting solution, but I did want to incorporate it into live streams with podcasting in the future. So that's why I was a bit horrified when I heard this, when I plugged it directly into my camera. I have no idea what's going on here. Why is this making all that terrible noise? Did I just waste my money? And in this video, I'm gonna share with you uh, the, the solutions I tried and finally a solution that works, which will let you get clean audio with the Rodecaster Pro if you intend to plug it directly into your camera. Welcome back everybody to Let's Make Internets. My name is Russ and this channel is all about practical tips for the working class YouTube creator. So before we go to the solution, I know some of you are gonna be wondering why would I want to use a Rodecaster to get audio into the camera, especially when you can feed it straight to the computer via USB for a live stream. So my main motivation for doing this, for feeding the audio from the Rodecaster into the camera is so that I can feed the combined video and audio back to the computer during the live stream and not have to deal with any lip syncing issues. As you know, if you've been live streaming, the video will arrive later than the audio and usually you need to fix that uh, using some kind of software solution. I'm not using the best suited computer for live streaming. Granted, this is a kind of a slightly older MacBook Pro. So I wanted to take any processing load that I could off of the computer and have it work externally. So to give you an overview of my setup, I'm using a Audio-Technica 2035. Uh, it's going into the Rodecaster via XLR. And the first thing I tried to get audio from the Rodecaster with this microphone to the camera is probably the most logical first step, right? I use the 3.5 millimeter output here in front of the Rodecaster and just used a cable to plug it from the Rodecaster directly into the mic input of my GH5. And that's when I got this horrifying sound. So at that point, I thought I had just blown a ton of money on this piece of gear, but I know it is capable of clean output because when you plug your headphones in here, it sounds nice and crisp and clear. So what was up with this solution? So the next thing I tried was trying to use one of the outputs here on the rear of the Rodecaster and feeding that into the GH5. So I get this cable, which takes the uh, quarter inch inputs and converts it into a 3.5 millimeter uh, output here and plug that 3.5 millimeter aux cable again from, from the out into the GH5 and still got the same sound. So at this point I was thinking, you know, I just wasted $600. I'd already thrown away the box because I read all these great reviews about this and yeah. I did some more internet digging and read things about firmware updates, uh, messing up the audio out when going into a camera or, or speakers. And then I stumbled on a couple of articles about closing the ground loop. So I made sure that the camera and the roadcaster were plugged into the same outlet. Still all to no avail. So I know what you're thinking, how am I finally getting clean audio from the Rodecaster into my GH5, like in this situation. I knew that the Rodecaster was capable of outputting clean sound, but for whatever reason, cabling it in was not working. So I decided to try to use whatever I had around me and decided to plug in this guy. So this is a Rode Wireless Go. I plugged the mic end of the uh, Wireless Go into the 3.5 millimeter out here on the Rodecaster, and I'm feeding that audio wirelessly into the GH5. This, so this is really fascinating because I'm essentially doing the same thing I was doing with this uh, auxiliary cable, but just doing it wirelessly. But for some reason, I'm not sure exactly why, when doing it wirelessly, you get clean audio. But when doing it with some kind of cable of some sort, the audio just has a lot of built-in line noise. So I didn't stop there, I had to investigate further. And another thing I found was that if I ran the camera uh, off of a battery, rather than having it uh, powered via an outlet, which I have right now, it eliminates that line noise. So it has something to do with a ground loop. Again, I'm not an audio technician. So this, this stuff is still kind of new to me, but by simple you know, deduction and trying different parts, I figured it out to this. So. If you're doing a live stream and you want your camera plugged into wall power so you can go 
an hour or longer, and you want to use your Rodecaster to feed in audio into your camera, you're gonna have to use a solution similar to this. If your live streams aren't as long, or if you have enough battery power uh, to last the length of your live stream, then you can hardwire it in with an aux cable. It's a mystery to me if you guys know why this works and why this doesn't work when it's plugged in or any other potential solutions. Definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video and found it helpful, this is the stuff I'm gonna dive into on this channel. Hit that subscribe button and go out there and make some internets.